the Lord is bringing Judah and Ephraim together. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashon, Yahweh Shai, Bashon Rechakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai. The Latinos, there's no difference with blacks and Latinos. When you see the same messed up schools, the same hospitals, the biggest power is people power. And if you come together and stop separating the two, you will see that the power in numbers will get us exactly what we need in the hood. Don't fight your brothers and your sisters. We won. No matter how you look at this thing. Let me tell you about blacks and Latinos. There's no difference with blacks and Latinos. When you see the same messed up schools, the same hospitals, the biggest power is people power. And if you come together and stop separating the two, you will see that the power in numbers will get us exactly what we need in the hood. Don't fight your brothers and your sisters. We won. No matter how you look at this thing. So, um, you know, you, you pretty much saw it. Um, you know, so as you can see, this video was done by two different brothers. One is from uh, GMS Judgment is here. The other one is for uh, this video in particular was done by this brother, GMS Holy Spirit, 144 Tazamach Dabar. Okay, and now I am doing a response video to this. You know, the fact that Fat Joe came out and said that that um, so-called blacks and Latinos are one proves that he's in the know because any rap star any movie star rock star football basketball anybody who becomes a major star in this society they are enlightened to the truth so fat joe he knew he was an israelite you know michael jackson knew that he was an israelite and a matter of fact to prove that Michael Jackson knew that that who who the Israelites were, let's type this in. They don't really, they don't really care about Michael Jackson. They don't really care about us. Okay, so let's type in Michael Jackson. Okay, this right here. Now you got to ask yourself. Why would Michael Jackson make a music video called They Don't Care About Us in Brazil? I'll just go ahead and pause that. Okay. And, uh, yes, excuse the ad here. Okay. So, look at this. This music video took place in Brazil. Now... The vast majority of those Brazilians, the mass majority, the, the, the mass majority uh, of those Brazilians are Israelites, and Michael Jackson knew this. Here it is, Michael Jackson. He could have made this music video in China. He could have made this music video in Japan. He could have made this music video in Africa. But he chose Brazil of all places. Because Michael Jackson knew that those Brazilians are Israelites. The vast majority of them are, okay? And Michael Jackson was in the know. He knew he was an Israelite. He knew that the other rappers, the other R&B pop artists, the singers, or whatnot, the hip-hop artists, the rap artists, he knew they, they were all Israelites. He knew that the people living, he knew that the so-called uh, Negro, Latino, and Native Indians living in the hood are Israelites. He knew that. Okay, but there is a particular code that these major stars have to abide by. 
You see, when you become a rap artist, when you become a hip hop artist, well, before you become a rap artist, a hip hop artist, a movie uh, actor, be, before you become a, a, a major a, a star in this society, you have to go by a particular code of honor. And basically, because the so-called elites, they'll tell you the truth, but then they'll tell you, you know, you can't, you can't speak of any of the information that, that, that is revealed to you, you know, you can't speak of any of the information that is revealed to you in, in any of your, um, like, um, social media accounts like Twitter, you know, which some of these rappers, they try to do it secretly by creating secret accounts, you know, trying, trying to tell our people who they are, the fact that they are Israelites. And, and, you know, immediately their account might get taken down. They might get a, a, a warning issue to them, you know. But another thing about these rappers or whatnot is that, you know, it is revealed to them of, of the NWO agenda. Okay? So a lot of things is revealed to these rappers. He knows there's no... So Fat Joe... He knows that the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians are Israelites. That's why he came out and said what he said. Okay? Now, he said that another thing that I, I want you brothers, brothers to take note of is that in this video, Fat Joe said that, you know, we are living in the same uh, situations. You know, we're living in the same messed up ghettos, messed up schools, you know. Here, I'll, let, I'll play it again so you can hear it. No difference with blacks and Latinos. When you see the same messed up schools, the same hospitals, the biggest power is... You see the same messed up schools, the same hospitals, same messed up ghettos, all that stuff, man. And there's a reason for that, okay? And, and a matter of fact, it's all biblical prophecy. If we come over here to Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33, it says this, Thus saith the Lord of hosts... Okay, Yahweh, the Lord of armies. It says, The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Now, the children of Israel represents the northern kingdom. And who's the head of the northern kingdom? Ephraim is. Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom. Okay, and the children, who are the children of Judah? The children of Judah is a representation of the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, in which the tribes of uh, the, the, the descendants of Judah are so-called Negroes, okay? The descendants of Benjamin are so-called Jamaicans, also known as the West Indians. The descendants of Levi is are the Haitians, okay? The Haitians, I believe they're also called Hispanics. And then you got the children of Israel, which represents the northern kingdom. Okay, now that, don't get me wrong. The, the, the uh, okay, uh, the nation of Israel makes up all 12 tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and, and, and as well as the rest of the northern kingdom. But here, you know, the, the Lord is speaking on, on, on basically how the Latino tribes and the so-called Negro tribes were oppressed together. So now the children of Israel, which would represent the uh, the northern tribes, you know, starting with uh, the tribe of Simeon, the tribe of Simeon, the, the, the descendants of, of the tribe of Simeon will be the Dominicans. The, 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 the descendants of the tribe of Zebulon will be the so-called Panamians to Guatemalans. The, the descendants of the tribe of Manasseh will be the Cubans. The, the descendants of the tribe of, of Naphtali will be the Chileans and the Argentinians. The descendants of Ephraim will be the Puerto Ricans, also known as the Taino Indians. The, the descendants of the tribe of Reuben will be the Seminole Indians. The descendants of the tribe of Asher will be 
the the Colombians to Yerugians, if I'm saying that correctly. The descendants of the tribe of Ishakar will be the so-called Mexicans. The descendants of the tribe of Gad will be the so-called North American Indians. And, and and you know these these um these Latinos make up the um the northern tribes. So when we say the so-called Negro, we're, 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 we're really referring to Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. When we say the Latinos, we're speaking of the Latino tribes, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, so-called Latino Indians. Okay, remember, the Puerto Ricans were known as the, the Taino Indians. Okay? The Mexicans were known as the Mexicans, as well as the the uh, Guatemalans. They were known as the Aztec Indians. The so-called North American Indians were known as the uh, the the Cherokee Indians, Choctaw Indians, the um the 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 uh, Chickasaw Indians. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more of them. You know, the uh, Reubenites. They were known as the uh, Seminole Indians, which a lot of the uh, Reubenites. The Seminole Indians they migrated in um in parts of Florida. That's why you see a lot of uh so-called Seminole Indians living in Florida, okay? But um okay, you know the the the, the, the northern tribe makes up the uh, Latinos as well as the uh the so-called native Indians. And then you got the so-called Negroes which which makes up Judah, Benjamin and Levi, okay? So when we say so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, we're literally talking about the whole tribes of the nation of Israel. All 12 tribes. All 12 tribes. Okay? So I'm going to read it again. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord of hosts. It says, The children of Israel the northern tribes and the children of Judah the southern tribes were oppressed together okay and, and when you when you look at states like Chicago you, uh, um, you look at states like um, Michigan you look at states like California you know California is known for having a lot of um, you know so-called Negroes and Latinos uh, living together you know they're living amongst each other. When you look at New York, you know, New York is known for having Latinos and so-called Negroes living amongst each other, you know? <coughs> the uh, Latino tribes, you know, Dominicans, you know, Dominicans living amongst the, uh, the Haitians, you know, so-called um, Negroes living amongst uh, Puerto Ricans, you know, living amongst uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Mexicans, you know, Mexicans living amongst uh, Benjamin, so-called blacks, you know, all that, man. So yeah, we were literally oppressed together. But 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 um, where where the question is, where were we being oppressed together at? This country known as America. If you notice, every state I've listed, they're all here in the United States of America. So this country. It's the country where, where, where all 12 tribes of the nation of Israel served slavery. Because guess what? During the time of slavery, so-called Negroes, Jamaicans, and Haitians were not the only ones. At, uh, were, 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 they were not the only slaves over here, okay? Remember, the so-called North American Indians were slaves. Okay, the Latinos, they were slaves. Okay, working in the, uh, the eastern part of America. And, and some of the western parts. You know, they had some of the, the so-called North American Indians working in the, uh, the middle parts of America, the southern parts, along with the so-called Negroes. So, you know, when you, when, when you look at today's time and age, you see that we're literally being oppressed together. And, and the reason why we're being oppressed together is because it goes back to the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Because 
According to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the Lord said that all the curses of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16 on down, would come upon us if we did not keep the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments, as it is written in Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. So in Deuteronomy 28, verse 16, all the way down to 68, we're, we're literally going through all those curses right now. And this is also how we are uh, able to identify who the Israelites are. Because the Lord said that the Israelites, and a matter of fact, let, let's just get it, okay? Because I just read it here, right? The children of Israel and, and Judah were oppressed together. Well, let, let's, um, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43, maybe. Okay, so Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43, it says, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. Who is the stranger? The stranger is talking about the, 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 the Edomites. Okay, they was calling themselves the conquistadors during the time of Christopher Columbus. They was calling themselves the English Dutch mercenaries. They was calling themselves Spaniards. Which, you know, the reason why a lot of you Latino tribes are speaking Spanish is because you was conquered by the Spaniards. Okay, they came from, from Spain and, and Europe. Okay. And, and um when when um Christopher Columbus came over here, you know uh, excuse me. He came over here making peace treaties, you know, which um that in the book of Psalms the fifty fifth chapter and the uh twentieth verse, it tells you that the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart, you know? Because, you know, they'll come over here talking about peace, peace, you know? But really, deep down inside, they wanted they, they, they wanted to kill the so-called natives of this land. But, you know, the point that I'm trying to make is that when, when Christopher, Columbo, Christopher Columbus came over here, you know, our people, the so-called natives of this land, you know, because this land was was being ruled and, and shared by the, this land was being ruled by the the, the Puerto Ricans, the so-called North American Indians, the Seminole Indians. Like I said, the Seminole Indians they migrated in mostly mo most of the uh, the southern parts of America. You know, the Seminole Indians, then you know the so-called North American Indians they migrated in more in in, in the the uh, the northern parts of America, the uh, Taino Indians, more of the uh, the uh, Eastern, some of the western parts of America, you know, you had some of the North American Indians and um, Seminole Indians that migrated in parts of the middle parts of America. But this land was predominantly ruled by the so called Latinos and Native Indians, okay? But um, they were well, when Cristobal Colombo came over here, the, the so called Native Indians of this land ex uh, accepted them with open arms. Okay? They literally accepted them with open arms. Took them in, you know? Taught them how to survive off the land. How, how to eat particular um, herbs and berries in order to, you know, stay hydrated in the hot of the summer. How, how to cure themselves of how to make natural remedies. All that stuff, you know? You know? But then there came a time where, you know, because we're talking about the Edomites here. And I can tell you in Habakkuk 2 and 4, their soul which is lifted up is not upright in them. So, you know, one day an evil thought came into their mind and they started to deal treacherously. So the stranger that was within our, our the stranger, the Edomites, that was living amongst our people, started to rise up against the native Indians of this land, pretending like they was at peace with them, but secretly they was killing them off with diseases. Giving them blankets, laced with smallpox, chickenpox, giving our people typhus, typhoid, scarlatina, tuberculosis, lice. Okay? <clears throat> and, and, and right before you know it, you know, our people started dying off in large numbers.
from, from plagues and diseases that, would be, that was being spread amongst those conquistadors and Spaniards. So the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. That also uh, happened to the, uh, the uh, southern kingdom because you had some of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was ruling parts of Europe, right? They was ruling parts of Europe. And, and um, you know, you had the um the um you had the rise of Edom in Europe around that time too. Okay? The Borgias was among them, you know? And, and, and they, they, they took us out of power in Europe. The same way how they took Gad and the Northern Kingdom out of power over here in the Americas through disease warfare. Okay? They were spreading diseases. Okay? What do you think the Black Death was about? Which which that was the the, uh, the bubonic plague. Okay? They called it the, the bubonic plague. It was also known as the Black Plague. So, so why was it called the bubonic plague, the black plague, the black death? Because it, it was a, a, a gene targeting disease. It was a disease specifically created for killing our people off. Okay. So the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. And that's what happened. Okay? Because it, it was prophecy. I'm reading it right now. It was prophesied for us to be taken down out of power. Because we used to rule Europe. We used to you we used to rule Russia. We used to have control over Japan, parts of China, Asia. You know, we used to, we used to have control. Uh, at one point, we, we used to have control over Germany uh, and, and a lot of the, these major co uh, countries. But nonetheless, we got taken down and, and taken out of power. Okay? Because it was prophecy. So the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. And that started with us dying off in large numbers. And after we came down very low, we got put into captivity. We served our time of slavery. We're still in slavery, technically. You know, I'm at the plant. I'm at the plantation right now, working as a security a uh, security guard inside of a building by myself. But um, you know, he said that we was going to come down very low, and so we did. Now check this out, right? It says he shall lend to thee. And thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. You know, which which um reminds me, you know, I need to re-upload that video. I originally uploaded it on my old account, but you know, <laughs> you know, Dark Matter Yahawada got deleted, so you know, I, I'm gonna have to re-upload those movies that I made. But it says, he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. So there you go, you know. And so we, we, we ended up being the tail. So think about that, right? It says, he shall be the head. Where is the head at? The head is the top of the body. So who, who, who's on top in this society? The Edomites, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation of people, they have control over the whole planet, okay? And, and, and the, the, the people of, of the so-called elites, they have, they're living in the best parts of the earth right now, okay? Especially the, the, these rich uh, people, the, these rich so-called white people, they got large acres of land, you know? Some of them... You know, they got a beach in their back house. Some of them got, they got large acres of land. I'm talking about hills. Hills of are, are wildlife and all that stuff.
Okay, so it says he shall be the head. So the these so-called white people, they're at the top right now. Okay, starting with the so-called elites. And it says, and thou shalt be the tail. Who's the tail? Where's the tail at? The tail is at the bottom. Okay, the tail is at the bottom. Okay. So the Lord said that thou shalt be the tail. When the Lord said thou, who was he talking to? The Lord was talking to the Israelites, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. So, so the Lord said we would be the tail. Where's the tail at? The tail is at the bottom. Okay? So, so when it comes to living on this planet, who, who, who's at the very bottom right now? Who's living in the slums and the ghettos? Because that's what the tail represents. The tail represents being in a very low estate. It means living in the most worst parts of the earth. And it means being on a low level. And our people are on a low level. Okay, all we got to do is go to YouTube and type in challenges. Our people's doing stupid shit like dumping buckets of ice on, them, on themselves, man. You know, uh, uh, when women sitting on, on men's face challenge. You know, they got challenges like that where, where how, how long can, can a woman sit on a man's face without him being smothered? <laughs> you know, fucking uh, no, the, 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 the milk crate challenge. You know, people's caught up in their own folly. So the Lord said that we, we will come down to a very low level. So it's not just a living condition. It's 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 it's. it's the mental state that our people is in as well, man. You know, our people daily life is smoking. Not, 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 not all of our people. The vast majority of our people that are in the world, their, their, their life is waking up, smoking, video games, drugs, selling drugs. If they have a job, they might work a part time. You know, and sell drugs, do drugs. You know, that, that's a very low way of living, man. So, the Lord had brought us down to a very low level. So, like Fat Joe said, you know, we're all, we're all, you know, we're, 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 we're all, you know, in, in the same living condition. And it all goes back to the curses of Deuteronomy 28, verse 44. So, back in Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33, it says, Thus saved the Lord of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Right. <laughs> Just like uh, Pharaoh and Pharaoh in uh, Egypt, you know. When Moses said, let my people go, he refused. But why did he refuse? Because the Lord hardened his heart. Just like how the Lord is hardening the, 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 the minds of the so-called elites. Okay? So now, let's go to Isaiah. And let's type in 11. So, um, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 13, it says, The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. It says, Ephraim shall not envy Judah. Now, Ephraim, again, Ephraim represents the northern tribes, okay? Because Ephraim is the head of the northern tribes, okay? Judah is the head of the southern tribe, as well as the whole nation of Israel. Judah is the head tribe of the whole nation of Israel. So Ephraim shall not envy Judah. Okay. So so the, the so-called Latinos and native and native Indians, they're not gonna envy Judah. They're not gonna envy, you know, the so-called Negro, uh, uh Jamaicans or Haitians, you know. And the uh, the so-called Negro, Haitians and, and Jamaicans, they're not gonna envy the uh the uh, so-called Mexicans. They're not going to envy the so-called Puerto Ricans. They're not going to envy the so-called Seminole Indians. They're not going to envy the uh, the so-called Argentinians or Chileans or Colombians or Yerugians. They're not going to envy the so-called Cubans. 
they're not going to envy the so-called Dominicans. Okay? They're not going to envy the so-called Puerto Ricans. They're not going to envy the so-called Seminole Indians. Okay? So Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. So, so, so the Lord, the Lord is bringing the southern tribe, the, the southern tribes of Israel and the northern tribes of, of Israel back together. Okay? But we must also consider that the Lord is also bringing the tribes back together because race wars are prophesied in the Holy Scriptures. And according to the Holy Scriptures, it's, it's going to be Jacob versus Esau in these last days, man. So, so there's going to be race wars. And these race wars, it's not going to just be so-called blacks versus so-called whites. No. <laughs> no. It, it's literally going to be the two-thirds of the nation of Israel versus you so-called white people. The nation of Edom, which are you so-called white people, okay? So it, it's, it's going to be, yeah, yeah, the race wars is going to be big, man. So you're going to have to deal with Judah, Benjamin. You know, you're going to have to deal with, with um, Judah. The, 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 the southern kingdom that are up to two thirds and you're going to have to deal with the northern kingdom that are up to two thirds <laughs> okay Ooh, excuse me and race wars are prophesied in the holy scriptures but with that I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one